Honestly, Michael Cohen, you and the rest of Trump's administration, including Trump himself, should just go ahead and give us a class on how to create extremely ironic tweets because this shit, this shit is gold, sis. I'm the librarian and I came to read. And let me tell you something, we're gonna get on this a little bit later on in the video, but if two Michaels were in front of me and I had to pick which one to put my money on, I'm choosing Michael Avenatti and that's just, <laughs> that's just all I'm gonna say on that matter. Y'all already know what time it is, okay? It's time to get into some reading and it's time to get into some roasting, bitch, and your faves have been fucking up, okay? And your politicians have been out here acting a fool, so girl, we're back again like Wonder Woman, bitch, y'all know that vintage ass Wonder Woman, bitch, I'm not talking about the, the one that just came out, I'm talking about Wonder Woman. Bitch, y'all know what I'm talking about. Bitch, I'm coming back here like the superhero ready to save your ass. Okay, so let's hop on into the topic. We have Mr. T-Pain. Now, T-Pain put this shit up. T-Pain put this shit up on Instagram, you know, saying that, you know, this is how he worships his woman. Now, it first started out sweet and shit, but then, you know how niggas do, they create hypothetical situations in which their significant other cheats on them, and they make sure that they establish, you know, some type of dominance and control and telling them just exactly what they do, you know, because this is a hypothetical situation. What these niggas would do if they find out that they, you're cheating on their ass, you know what I mean? He said, you know, I will kill motherfuckers with a deadly weapon, I'll save you for last, because that's just how much of a gentleman. I am. Now, sis, there are gonna be a lot of people because there are people already in the shade room comments with heart eyes and shit. There are gonna be a lot of people talking about, well, girl, he was just kidding. Blah, 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 blah. That shit don't sound like no goddamn kidding. What are you talking about? T Pain literally said, he said, girl, if I find you with any other niggas, I'm gonna use a deadly weapon to kill all those hoes and then I'm gonna save you for life. What the fuck type of romantic shit is that? What are y'all talking about? Think about it. I want you to think about it. If Jay-Z randomly woke up and wrote some shit like that about Beyonce, bitch. Bitch. If Offset wrote some shit like that about Cardi B, you know what I mean? Girl, you would feel some type of way, bitch. You would be like, girl, what? I would, bitch, no ma'am. No ma'am, I don't care what y'all say. And this is, this is one of the points where I'm just gonna be firm on it. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I don't care what he says after this, if it ends up blowing up, because I don't think a lot of people are talking about it right now. I don't care what he says. That shit is weird as fuck, and it's scary. I would love to know what y'all think about this shit. I, like, I was reading the comments, oh, this is so cute, halfway through, he talking about killing niggas and killing her. I was like, in what world, I don't even give a fuck if you plan, like, in what world is, just tell me what y'all think, because I could talk about it for the whole video. So y'all have to know by now what had gone on with the Trump Tower. Apparently there was a crazy ass fire going on in the residence section of the Trump Tower, and the tea is coming out, girl. I think somebody died. The tea is coming out. They're reporting that the upper floors, which are residence floors, are not even fucking sprinklered. Uh, they're saying that the deadly Trump fire it's an accidental uh, electrical malfunction that caused it, but there was no smoke alarm in the apartment where the blaze started. Now, if we fucking move on to some news articles, I'm talking about doing some research and getting your fucking life. You see, you hear what I'm saying? If we talk about, this, listen to how really fucked up this shit is. Just listen to how fucked up this shit is. Trump was quoted by the New York Times in 1999 saying sprinklers would be installed in the Trump World Plaza building after, only after new legislation was passed in NYC requiring new residential construction over four dwellings to have sprinklers installed. So he said, girl, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Um, until you hoes write that shit into law, I don't give a fuck if you hoes come out here looking like you just got charred by Drogon and Viserion and Rhaegon and shit like, you know what I mean? The Night King got Viserion, but that don't mean shit, but you hoes are still getting burned the fuck up. And that's what uh, Donald Trump has clearly indicated. And I think even in his own residence, he doesn't have sprinklers in that shit, so it's just completely not prepared for shit, and he's a president, so they have to have people on standby, because he's in an apartment that isn't prepared for fire in the least, bitch, so they have to, they have to make sure that his ass is Okay. Best believe if someone shows this much stupidity that it's going to encompass their whole life. So I'm, I'm not surprised that this has happened. And since we're talking about heat, I just hope that you know that Nicki Minaj is coming, okay? If you're not aware, Nicki Minaj was on recently. In the last couple of days, she's been doing this like secretive ass countdown. I think it started with four, but what she's been doing is deleting the tweets as soon as she put them holes up. So first she put up four, then she deleted that shit. Then she put up three, then she deleted that shit. Now, bitch, if tonight she puts up two or today, girl, I'm going to actually pass away. Nick Minaj, I'm going to need for you. Sis, come over here. I'm going to need for you to give me the bars. Give me the line. Give me the punchlines. Give me the metaphors that have been missing from my life. Give it to me. 
I'm so sick of everybody running around here, girl. Show me what a wordsmith's supposed to be, Nicki Minaj. I don't want, I don't, I don't want none of this singing. I don't want none of this pop music as starships are meant to fly. Are they, sis? No, your bars were meant to deliver, girl, and that's what I want to hear from your ass. I need it. So, Nicki Minaj, don't you go, don't play with my heart, don't play with my spirit, bitch. I don't want you to come up here on Friday the 13th giving us another mixed Moscato. I don't want, I don't want a makeup line. I don't want no clothing line, sis. I want you to get up there and give me the looking ass niggas. Give me the chai rack. Give me, give me that nigga. You better. And since we're still on the topic of heat, I wanted to talk to you about how Joy dragged the hell out of Killer Mike. Now, Joy was up there telling y'all, she was so excited about this shoot that she was having. She was saying, you know, my H and my M, they've been done by, she was shouting to people out who were helping her with her photo shoot. And Killer Mike came in fast, girl. He came in fast, he was like, oh my God, everyone is dragging me for talking with the NRA, but here your ass is, standing with H and M and they called a black boy a monkey girl. What's wrong with you? Joy came down and said, girl, so here's the response. Joy Hey, dog, girl. She said, hey, sis, uh, I don't know what the fuck you think this shit is, but girl, H and M, for me, what I was using, it stands for makeup. So, I, I mean, hair and makeup, sis. So, what you're over here trying to say that I shop at H and M, and I'm just like, girl, this shirt that you are looking at, sis, you don't, you can't even get it at the fucking store, girl. I got it directly from the designer, girl. So, I mean, Joy came down and swooped in and, and dragged the shit out of his ass. Now, someone, there are a lot of people on Twitter who are saying, now, you can't spell Killer Mike without two L's, and sis, you have taken the second one. I'm gonna need for your ass to sit down and just reevaluate, girl. Take a couple weeks off of social media, just let it simmer, let it sit, girl, because after this, I, I would just hide my face. When I first saw this video, I was like, bitch, I can't wait to talk about this shit. Ridiculous that this kid applied to 20, taking away uh, a spot and basically waitlisting another kid. Yeah. Let me tell you something about uh, so certain white people, girl. So White people will, like MLK said, they will have you walking outside barefoot with no boots, I mean for generations, bitch, with no boots, barefoot, and then tell you to pick yourself up by the bootstrap. Okay, so when you figure out what the fuck a boot is, then you go and do your research and figure out how the fuck you gonna make that shit, then you go, go work and get some money so you can buy the materials to make the fucking boot, then you fucking create the motherfucking boot, but hoes wanna run you over every time you motherfucker, cause you're a black ass motherfucker. So they're like, girl, what, you making this boot over here, girl? They come in and shred that shit again, so you gotta start all over again. Then when you finally had the boot on, bitch, they're saying, damn, bitch, you doing too much work. I'm talking about this motherfucking name. What's his name? Mike Brown. Michael Brown. Girl, his ass was accepted to 20 colleges. And here, here comes Fox News. Here comes Fox News talking about, girl, how many people were stuck on the wait list? Oh, I can just see it now with some of their PTA meeting. You know, I love to call them soccer moms. I can see it now. That nigga got in there. My son's been on the wait list. Who can I speak to? Um, where's the man? Is there a manager here that I can talk to by my son being on the wait list? Obviously, I've applied to colleges, so I know how the hell. I know how difficult that shit is. I knew which college I wanted to go to, and I said, girl, I'm getting in there, okay, sis? And I was like, girl, I'm not gonna do no 20, 30 applications, girl. I'm getting in, girl, I'm giving you hoes three applications, or four, I can't remember how many I actually did. Um, but I'm giving you hoes three or four applications, and that's not it, girl. <laughs> My dumb ass, I would have definitely applied for more. But I'm just saying, like, I only applied for three, for more, three or four, and I know how difficult the process is for someone to apply to 20, and you have to write all these fucking essays. I don't know, some, some might involve interviews. I didn't have to do that. But it's just like, and then they get up there and they just credit that shit. Not only did you do the fucking hard-ass work to be even considered by these colleges, but you do the hard-ass work to do the applications. And it's still not enough, bitch. Damn, we can't even work hard without making people feel uncomfortable. That's why I said, bitch, that's why I say that cooning does not help. The standards that white people have changed to the narrative, girl. So why are you over here trying to coon and tap dance with this white person, girl? But as soon as that shit threatens their power, they change the narrative. Cooning never works. So, I mean, <laughs> let's go on to the next topic, girl. So I hope that you guys didn't forget that Beyonce is still coming. She's coming, and she's going to snatch these girls. And I promise you, just, just mark my words. She's going to she's gonna make you choke. She's going to snatch these girls. Um, so when I'm seeing that YouTube is going to be offering a cute ass streaming of her performance and Cardi B is going to be there too, y'all already know what the tea is. I'm just, I'm going to be mad because is she going to come out like this, okay? She's going to come out just like this. Oh, bitch, and it's going to cut right there, bitch. It's going to cut right there. I mean, it's going to be fog and silhouette and everything, bitch. I'm going to see my bitch come on here and she got the mic and she ready to sing. It's, the stream is going to cut. I know, because Beehive will refresh some shit, girl. Y'all will crash some sites. Y'all will make links invalid. 
It's just, I know that it will be an influx of online traffic and I'm gonna be mad as fuck when it's pixelated and pausing up, girl. But at the same time, I'm not paying rent money to go sit in the desert with a bunch of white hoes and that's just it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about the topic at hand. Y'all waited long enough. We have Michael Cohen up here. Michael Cohen, just, you have been, I mean, weebles wobble, sis, but shit, they don't fall down. Girl, you, y'all are falling down some steps like it's a slinky. Bitch, y'all remember them toys? Y'all are falling. I'm going down. Girl, you're going down, sis. Breaking news, FBI agents seized tax documents business records, girl, tax documents. God damn let me say this, this feels like a fucking song, bitch. Tax documents, girl, business records. What else, what else? Impossible items related to Stormy Daniels, bitch. Tax documents and, and, and business records, bitch. Tax documents, bam, and business records, bitch, damn, bam, boom, boom, cat, boom, boom. The reason this broke so many headlines is not just because he's the president's fucking attorney, but also because the way that this was done, Robert Mueller found something that was out of his jurisdiction. It was out of the scope of the investigation. So he referred to shit to people who are legally able to take it on, the New York attorney office, and girl, they went with it, girl. Now I want you to keep in mind all the things that Donald Trump has said about the FBI when you think about the way that this search was done. Without warning, they raided three places, his office, his house, and his hotel room. They took his phone right out of his hand. Like, they snatched his phone right out of his hands. Okay, so that, I mean, without warning, you can't cover shit up. There has been rumors that Donald Trump does not keep no type of emails, because I mean, <laughs> what type of fucking career criminal would? The officials have a lot of things to do in this case. There are also a lot of people citing attorney-client privilege. But in response, people have been saying, girl, all that shit goes out of the window when your attorney is helping, is the one helping your ass, you know, cover up crimes or commit fraud and shit. So they're saying that that probably shot that all out the window. The fact that Robert Mueller wasn't even able to go there and do the shit himself, he had to to give part of that shit to someone else means that there are multiple investigations going on, okay? And that's because the people that Trump, Trump, the people that Trump hangs around, they're career criminals. Now, what we have noticed is that because so many people around him are up to so much dirty shit, that Mueller doesn't even have to go for the most hard, crazy shit to prove. If they've, they've been committing so many fucking crimes, of course, he can just be like, all right, girl, I'm gonna nab you on this, I'm gonna nab you, or I'm going to choose not to nab you on this shit if, you know, in exchange for information. So it's, it's a lot of shit. We'll have to keep up with the story. There's a lot of shit that will unfold from here on out. I think Trump Trump just picked a fight with the FBI and he really did not realize what the hell was coming to his ass. The fact that this was done in such a crazy ass manner means that they had to convince a whole ass federal judge that this was the manner in which they need to go do this shit right the fuck now so that evidence would not be destroyed. They need to go do this shit now. So that means they had to have irrefutable, irrefutable ass evidence in order for someone to sign off on that shit. So the shit is hitting the fan. There were sources inside the White House saying that they've had other, you know, crises, other fucked up shit happen, but this particularly kind of changed the tide. And they could, so it's, it's a bunch of shit that's going on. Michael Avenatti also went on and said, he said something very important, and honestly, I did not think about it uh, until he said it. He said that, because uh, we already know that Donald Trump and, and these hoes, they thought that they were going to be the ones, you know, completely in charge of some type of dystopian ass state. I don't know, like they felt like they were going to be able to just fucking send the IRS and FBI to everybody that they wanted to. And then so someone like Michael Cohen, who works for the president of the United States, you would think, not just imagine this, you're doing dirty work for the president. You would think that you would be protected from the United States government, right? But obviously that's not the case. Like, Think about it, if you're the president's henchman, the la honestly, I would be like, oh, the last thing I gotta worry about is the FBI, because girl, he got that shit, he's the president. Girl, no ma'am. And that's what has these hoes like really shook. If I'm your fixer or whatever, like this is Olivia, he really thought that he was gonna have some type of B613 type of tease, and you know what I mean? He thought that shit was scandal. Girl, no man, we got checks and balances in this hoe, girl. Uh, there's no Olivia Pope walking around here with um, B613 type of tease, girl. I don't know if you thought Papa Pope was gonna come in here and show you the ropes, but girl, that's not exactly what's happening. That's not what's happening. We know at this point also that Michael Cohen has a lawyer of his own. So when the president's lawyer has a lawyer, it's just, uh, when someone doesn't have shit to hide, girl, you can fucking notice. And it's just, it is what it is. Like, I'm not gonna be over here, you know, oh shit, what, what are y'all looking at? If I don't have shit to hide, girl, be like, girl, come in my shit, girl, come in my shit. 
search my shit, girl. I don't have shit here for you to see unless you, you white hoes are planting some evidence in my shit. You know what I mean? I don't have shit to hide. But this administration is operating from the dark, especially Mike Pence ass. He don't think we know us, but his ass has been mighty silent. Oh, girl, you've been mighty silent. You think you just gonna, you think mama just gonna beat the two kids in the corner, bitch, and forget about your ass, bitch. You was fucked up too, bitch. You in time out. Mama's beating that kid, mama's beating that ass right now, but chuckle if you want to, bitch. You gonna come and beat that ass right too. So, girl, my pants, I see you quiet. I see you very quiet, and you a smart bitch, and it almost makes you very scary. It makes you very scared because you playing this shit completely right, almost like Cyrus off a of scandal. You playing this right, sis, but and that's real scary. But girl, we're coming, we're coming, girl. We got the fire that's going on, so we gotta put this hoe out. But bitch, I see your ass sparking up over there, ready to start some shit, girl. Mike Pence, you're not fooling me, girl. The only person that you're fooling is Siri because she keeps using Face ID on you, and she's wondering if she's been stuck in the cartoon world. Okay, have a good goddamn evening.